goes. Virksasana. <clears throat> all right, so tree again, as with all standing poses, and especially all balancing poses, is Tadasana. So we go to find our Tadasana first, finding those feet at hip distance, moving your body weight around, the inner edge, the outer edge, the front, the back, the toes. Just finding your balance, this is mind work. I always tell my people to imagine their skeleton. Imagine your skeleton and find that perfect balance. That's good. Take your kneecaps into your quads. That makes the quads automatically ro rotate inward. You're taking your shins and rotating them outward and this builds this, you know, you're sturdy here. Low ribs go down and back, shoulders go up and back, chin comes out of your chest. Head floats like a balloon. Press maybe the back of your head against the air and get a little neck stretch. Yeah. Yes. So this is your fundamental balance. From here, lean your body weight to the right and pick up your left leg. And then, so this is, this is already tree. I usually do this on my way to tree. It's sort of um, establishing the balance and kind of just getting you in the mood. And then, here we go. I like to put my foot above my knee, but you can also put it below your knee. Either way, either way, notice what an amazing hip opener this pose is. It's such a good hip opener. It's maybe one of my favorite hip openers. It's really, you can feel it right in here. And then see if your tree wants branches. And then keep studying your hips. Keep studying your hips. So try to square them to the front of the mat and try to square them up and down. That's hard. And think about the relationship between your hips and your shoulders. And think about the relationship between your skull and your shoulders and hips. And rebalance everything and breathe. This is a nice pose for a namaste or a reverse namaste, if that's in your playbook. I love reverse namaste. Breathing here. So there's a million different ways you can move from here, obviously. Um, I tend to go backwards. I usually go uh, into a warrior three or into a natarajasana and then back into some light warriors like that. But that's your call. Rooksasana. Three pose. 